Welcome back to Better. Hi, everyone. Still ahead on the show, we're talking with the breakout country group, the band Perry, about their upcoming tour with Tim McGraw. Fantastic group there. But before we get to all that, our next guest was the longest running host ever on early morning TV. And since leaving her post, she's added quite a few titles to her resume. Mother, best-selling author, entrepreneur, and that's just to name a few of them. Joan London is here again today telling us about what she's been up to and also her new design venture. And we're going we're gonna to talk forever, ever and ever and ever. Good to have we you have back We have so many things we want to yeah. talk about today. It's, we need like a full hour every time that you come on the show. Good to have you back. Terrific to be back. And you look fantastic Thanks. as always, Thanks. as always. Now, I have to ask you this. Do you miss getting up early in the morning, doing the hair and the makeup routine? No. <laughs> no? No, I mean, once a news junkie, always a news junkie right. so I mean I you know I'm glued to every news program until I until my husband says turn off the TV and go to bed <laughs> it's in you it's in your it's blood it's definitely right? in me uh, you know and I have a lot of television projects I've been doing health corner for a lifetime for the last few years I just did a series for RLTV called uh, taking care about family caregiving mm -hmm. uh, and I've got another one in the works right now however I've decided to diversify and I'm having a lot of fun doing all my other projects. That's good. So now that you've left the, the television, well, it's been a few years, but you've left that position in itself. You've had more time or less time to do all of these projects because it's um, crazy. I'm just <laughs> as crazy busy as I always was. Okay. I think some of us are just that way. I mean, I don't know yeah. what I would do with myself if I wasn't mm -hmm. crazy busy. And you know, the wonderful thing and the perplexing thing <laughs> is that so many things come my way and they're interesting and you know, I figure you only go around once, mm -hmm. so throw as much on the wall as you can and, and see you check what them sticks. All out. <laughs> exactly. Well, we have to talk about this new design line that you have. You're selling it on QVC, correct? Yes, we've launched on QVC. Okay. We launched last spring. Okay. And so we just came out with our new spring 2011 collection. And all the things are based on places that I've gotten to see because I almost feel like I had this all-access pass mm -hmm. to, to home, people's homes, and oh, and to people's islands. palace bedrooms. I yeah. mean, and and private islands, and right. so this has been one more venue where I've been able to share with the American public a little bit of what I've gotten to see over the years. We're on your website, just to check it out, just to see what was new. There are so many things that you're doing, and then to top it all off, to make you just want to hate Joan, but you can't. There's a photo of you with the twins in the hospital. Uh, you look fantastic on in the picture. Did you have the makeup and the hair team there? How do you look that fantastic after having twins? <laughs> well, actually, I think I might have to be like to be perfectly transparent. Okay. Because I knew that photo was done, I think I might have had the hair and makeup gotcha. artist there. Okay. okay? That's Let's right. Let's just be honest here. Well, don't leave because I need you to help me answer this next question. Before we go, make sure that you check out Joan's line. It's Joan London Home. It's available on QVC and also her website, JoanLondon.com. Now, obviously, Joan is known to be an inspirational woman to a lot of people out there. Who inspires you, Joan? Who would you say the one? You know, when I came into this business, um, truly, Barbara Walters was yeah. a, a not only a role model to me, but she was a mentor to me. Mm -hmm. And she came on the show the first time for me to interview her. I was so nervous. I thought I was going to faint. <laughs> And it was during the commercial break that she said, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. She said, don't buck the system here. Don't try to make them give you half, because right. they're not ready for it. They're never going to do it. But take every little piece that they give you and make it shine. Wow. And you obviously and she you said, and then start. you will you rise. That. Yeah. And that is such great advice. Well, we put the question out there to our viewers, and I don't know. Tell me what you think about some of these answers. Okay. Um, Darcy from Goodman, Wisconsin says, my sister Dawn inspires me so much. I'm going to try to hold the tears back right now. She said she's very successful and a few years ago was diagnosed with lung cancer. Oh. Throughout her journey of intense chemo and radiation, she always had a smile on her face and never once complained, even though she was in a lot of pain at times. I'm thankful every day that she's still in my life. She's truly amazing. I can't oh. read it without crying. Isn't that cool? Okay, Sally from Brush Prairie, Washington says that Amy Roloff inspires me. She's a little person and she does so much. I wish I had half the energy that she does. I took my family to their farm and she is the nicest person. I'm reading these for the first time. These are fantastic. I love them. Um, and Annabelle says, my inspiration, it's you, Audra. I didn't write this. Uh, it says it's you, Audra you, Lowe. You're, <laughs> you're a real woman on Better TV. Oh, that's what you think, huh? And you talk about real topics. It's a joy to watch you every morning. Oh, thank you very much. I had no idea that was in there. I really didn't and I didn't pay anyone. But um, that's nice. It's good to know. It's good to, to feel good especially after crying for just a few seconds off that other one, too. Um, thank you to everyone for writing in, and stay with us. We'll be right back.